It's easy to create customized effects within Final Cut Pro by learning how to keyframe filters. Watch this short video promotion. They run into burning buildings to rescue people while their opponents sweep the bad guys off the streets. But now the only thing that matters is their training for the fifth annual Guns and Houses charity boxing event. Tickets are now on sale. Be there. Okay, let's recreate something similar to create a picture in picture with two different sides. To start, edit any two clips directly on top of each other to a new sequence. Navigate to the Effects tab within the browser window. Twirl down the Video Filters and Perspective category and find the Basic 3D Filter. Drag the Basic 3D Filter onto your top clip in your sequence. Double click on the top clip to load it into the Viewer window. Click on the Filters tab at the top of the viewer. You can now adjust these parameters to change the scale and position of your picture in picture. Okay, I sometimes find it easier to do my keyframing directly in the timeline instead of using the Filters tab. Click on the Toggle Clip Keyframes button in the bottom left corner of the timeline window. Expand the keyframe editor size for the V2 track. Right click in the keyframe editor area and choose Basic 3D Y Axis Rotation from the contextual menu. Find a place and time for where you'd like your picture to start rotating. Hold down the Option key to add a keyframe at the point where you want your picture to start its rotation. Then move forward a bit and add another keyframe. Drag the second keyframe to minus 180 degrees so your picture spins around on the Y axis. Okay, now your picture spins around to its back side. Now, place the position indicator where the picture is at its 90 degree mark. Right click on the top clip and choose Copy from the contextual menu. Then right click on the bottom clip and choose Paste Attributes. In the Paste Attributes box, choose Filters. Then simply trim back your clip on V2 to your position indicator to reveal the other layer underneath. Okay, that's it. For other great tips like this or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training course, visit GeniusDV.com.